Hey folks, uh, it's cold up here. <laughs> we were like, oh, 911 turbo cab. It's been a nice week. Let's go to the canyons. We get up here straight up gale force wind. Yeah. It's, it's 25 gusting to 40 right now, which is a perfect time to test the uh, comfort, really, of the, of the 911 turbo cabriolet with the top down. Heated seats, heated steering wheel, a, uh, heat just cranking Spray out. Heat. And actually, it's not bad. Out there, we were getting V-roll, terrible. Really cold. In here, not so bad. So this is the 992 <laughs> uh, turbo cab non-S. Um, similar to the S, okay? Things you don't get. Ceramics are not standard. Right. PDCC, not standard. Uh, center lock wheels, not standard. And whereas the Turbo S has 640 horsepower and 590 torque, this has 572 horsepower and 590 torque. So Amazing. the same torque, but a minus 68 horsepower. Yes. And for, they both, both Turbo and Turbo S have variable geometry turbochargers. Same gearbox, same gear ratios, b same curb weight. Closest makes no difference. 3790 right. for the convertible. Yeah, it's for the cab. pounds more than the coupe. Right, right. But the zero to 60 in the quarter mile are like a tenth, maybe two tenths affected. Ridiculous. This thing rated zero to 60, two nine, rated quarter mile 10 nine. Now the Turbo S Coupe, which I drove earlier in the year, car and driver on their actual metered testing, instrumented testing, did zero to 60 in two two and the quarter mile in 10 one. <laughs> That's a stock coupe. A convertible a cabriolet would be about a tenth behind that. So the extra power of the S is translates into measurable performance improvements from medium crazy town into full on crazy town. Do you think Bugatti Veyron owners are leaving bags <laughs> of flaming poop no, on Porsche's No, they still win step? at the valet. That's they true. still win at the valet. Uh, the turbo has a lot of the same stuff that Turbo S gets. Same adaptive aero with the air brake. PASM, Sport Chrono, and Rear Steer are standard. Um, I wrote it has double the horsepower of the 930 turbo. Yeah. Uh, that's awesome. Uh, staggered width and staggered also diameter. Also double the gears, right? Wasn't the that's true. Double the, the double the gears. <laughs> Good call. Yes. And double the wheels driven. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and um, let's see. Uh, 255, 3520s in the front. 315, 3021s. So not since the front engine Corvette have we seen such a stagger wow. in a car like this. Um, other than that, everything else is kind of the same as the Turbo S, but with less horsepower comes less money. This thing is 183,000 base compared to 205 base with the turbo. So you save 20K. Right. And this has a lot of the options on it that you would get with the turbo, I'm sorry, with the turbo. This has a lot of the same options. We're gonna go into manual and we're gonna go drive fast and we're gonna see how she do. Oh wait, we have a straightaway? We're just gonna launch. We'll just yeah. go right into the launch. right into the launch. Any We have we have like a hundred yards to work with, and that's enough for zero to sixty. Where's our I forget? Oh yeah, traction control off. PSM sport and launch. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh wow, it was a manual and it hit the end of the gear. You see my sunglasses? Wow! Dude, I got punched in the back. All you've got to do is do first gear. That <laughs> is nuts. Yep. yep, launch is still good. Launch is still good. <laughs> All right, now, everything else? Wow. Oh boy. Wow. This pours on speed like almost nothing. Really, really now, good. when I drove the Turbo S, it was on this very same road, Zach, and it was wet out. And my remarks were that this car is stupid because my limit is how fast I can see and react and not the car. I suspect that when the road is dry now, the car allows for a little more speed. Jeez. <laughs> So much grip. Look at this. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> you know what? 
Normally I don't like the sound of Porsche turbos because it just sounds like air, but with the top off, it's cool. It's kind of cool. It's cool. It really is. Sport exhaust is available on the turbo. This one doesn't have it. Which I find very interesting. This thing, to me, forget power to, to weight. Let's talk about power to sound. Excluding EVs, I think this has the most power to the least sound of any gas car I've ever driven. Oh, 100%. Like when these go by on a racetrack or on the road, they don't really have an exhaust note, which is kind of disappointing. Whoa! But uh, out here with the top off, you hear the turbos sucking in all that air. You know, variable vane turbos just working, pulling in all the molecules. Oh my God. Wow, it really... The torque, it just builds and builds and builds and, oh yes. Jeez. Ceramics are good. Is that rain? That is a dust storm. The dust storm, good. Oh boy. Yeah. Poor, poor pre-production car. Trucks, trucks, are they okay? Clear? Yes, okay. Yeah, Whoa, that's the, getting, um, that's the loading cars. zone. Yeah, so carbon ceramics, $10,000 option in this. Um, as is the, the leather that. stitching. This thing has 11 grand in custom manufactured leather, looking like a strawberry shortcake in this V. I would skip that. It's gorgeous, and I will say that in other cars, when people point out the stitching's not perfect, this is what perfect stitching looks like. But do you need to spend Whoa. 12 grand on it? I don't think so. Dude, we're rooster tailing dust like a cigarette boat right now. Oh my God, we are, <laughs> wow. There's a, there is, wow. Where are we? We have driven to Mars. Yeah, there is sand snaking across the road like snow. Habibi, welcome to New Bizzle. Oh, Tr that's tree. a giant tree in the road. That's okay. a branch. It's faster than you can see. Yo, I, I'm gonna correct myself. I think this is, okay. I think you can go faster in this than you can go in the Carrera S. I think if the road is dry, where are we right now? We are in Mars. Yeah, we're in Mars. We're in the aftertime. Oh, I see what's happened here. When there's a fire and there is dust and dirt and things everywhere and the Santa Ana winds come. Ooh. Oh my, oh boy, oh God. Okay, we let's, four wheel steer, four wheel steer. Yeah. Look at this, look at the turning radius. 30, turning radius. Love it. 35.8 feet. Love it, but you should get nose lift, which this one doesn't have. Who would get the $11,000 worth of manufacture leather, but not get nose lift? I don't know. That's weird. The now, you want, let's do a launch again. Uh, now that we're on Mars, it's just straight away over here. This is so weird. We have chosen an alien planet to film this review on. So I'll take it out of manual. That way I won't mess it up. I think this car is so fast we've driven to the future. We are. That's what. What timeline are we in? 20. The Martian? Yeah, this looks like. It. Head back. Oh, oh my God. Yikes. Wow. And the tree. Good and the tree. I guess that's why you get the carbon ceramics. <laughs> oh Habibi. Habibi. Wow. I think it just fixed my back. <laughs> just straightened it out. You know, I was just watching oh. the fifth element. When she goes, when uh, Mila Jovic goes, I protect my supreme being. Supreme motoring experience. Supreme motoring. This is a supreme, supreme vehicle motor. because it's, it's crazy fast. But the trade-off is zero. There is no trade-off at all. It's comfortable, yeah. it's usable, it's easy, it's quiet. Okay, you have to drive, because this rules. Wow. <laughs> wow. Well, when I talk about the wow. throttle, right, you know, the GT3s have the stabby throttles, yeah. and these turbo cars have the squeeze throttle. Right. You throttle operate it like this throttle was a bellows, uh -huh. right? And this is, it's such a great example of where you can, you feel like you're squeezing pressure under the pedal and that pressure is then squeezing out horsepower out the other end. 
Okay, Zachary will drive because this is silly and very fun. <laughs> One thing that really impresses me with this car is the ride. Uh, it's all 911s. I mean, yeah. to even to have this level of increased performance over the, uh, the regular uh, Carrera, the ride quality is exactly the same. You know, well, yeah, we drove up here on LA's famously terrible roads at 80 miles an hour, and it was quiet, and it it really smoothed out all the expansion joints. I was amazed. It does a really nice job. It, God, these cars are so good. It's so frustrating sometimes. You can really feel the precision, right? Yeah. Boom. It's and, and that it's, downshift that was automatic and it perfectly timed. Perfectly timed. Like there's z less than zero slop. Yeah. There's no slop anywhere in the car. <laughs> See? Holy. That's very good. Wow. Brake pedal grabs real early. Steering's really nice. This has the optional, uh, what's power it called? Like Porsche steering power steering, plus, power steering plus. So it's a variable weight system. Yeah, speed sensitive variable weight system. Thousand dollar option. No, not even. No, no, no it's like two hundred. Oh, that's right, it's two fifty. There's a couple of you options. Remember where the they yellow were cheap. or the white ring on the tack costs twice as much. Yeah, the white ring on the tack and the uh, the chrono is four hundred twenty dollars each. I mean, I do like that you can get that. Yeah, I don't it does think look that's nice. a rip off. It's funny that this gauge, which is three times bigger than that one, costs the same amount. Oh, it was interesting to see how the gearbox sorted that out. You sort of did a lift near red line. It, 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 it worked it out though, didn't it? it out. What a pace. What a pace of a car. Dude, forget about right? it. Forget about it. I mean, this. You know, I, I drove a Ferrari F8 recently, which I know you've driven a couple of times. Yeah. And this is like a much nicer interior. It looks more expensive. Color combinations, materials, all that stuff. And then it's just as fast, by all measure. You know, the Turbo S is just as fast, and this is almost as fast as this that. This is pretty close. I don't. I was not able to find anywhere in the spec sheet or the press release. <laughs> now, granted, I, <laughs> granted, I didn't email Porsche at eleven o'clock at night, but but I didn't find anywhere in the spec sheet what actual hardware is different from one car to the next. So this might be a tune and some standard equipment away right. from the full, you know, Turbo S. Yeah, I saw that the Turbo S gets manifolds that are similar to the GT2, but I couldn't find out if this doesn't have those manifolds. The press releases, I think, are intentionally cagey about that kind of okay. stuff. I, the handling is amazing. Yeah, it's ridiculous. It's heavier than the coupe, not by that much. Like the press releases only talk about the performance from the old turbo to this turbo. They don't really talk about the performance right. gain from the turbo to the turbo S. Well, it wouldn't be smart to do that, would it? Well, they leave it up to the magazine testers to do that, you know? I mean, but this thing feels nimble, it feels stiff, it feels agile. For a convertible, for technically a four seat convertible, I mean, actually, I drove the Ferrari F8 Spider, and I hate to crap on Ferrari more because it was a very nice car, but yes. but the Ferrari F8 Spider, I felt had more chassis flex over bumps than this does. This is this is stiffer to me. Pretty minimal. I mean, yeah. I, I drove the Coupe uh, F8, so I can't speak to that. But oh, <laughs> see, and then when you get that hop, right? That mid corner yump, yep. like this thing really works that out Figures nicely. Out so yeah. Fast. yeah. Wow. That's wow. pretty good. <laughs> it's really, really good. It's That's really, a good car. Really good. Confidence is very high when you're driving it, you know, because the brakes are so right there yeah. and because it's got such ridiculous levels of composure. Like, I like stuff like the 765 LT because it's ragged and scary and like the double black diamond of cars. This is not that. No. This is very approachable, very easy. It's really, really, like I said, high confidence. Um, yeah. And it doesn't make you sacrifice anything. 
really. I mean, no, we, got... have, we have blistering speed. Yeah. We have heated, cooled seats that are really comfortable. The interior is, is done really nice. Color combination, everything, materials. I mean, I did 2,500 miles in the Carrera S, which is the same interior, and it was like great. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, that's what port, the turbo has always been the, the everyday supercar. Uh, pull off right here. And they, they just keep getting faster and closing that gap to like other exotics while maintaining all of the daily comforts you could want. Look, if it's me, you if you took this, I, I look, I, the convertible's nice. I have no I have no issue with the convertible. I think this would be a great car to go on a road trip with. Like, I want to drive this thing to Santa Barbara like right now. Yeah. You know? But like I would skip the manufacturer things and just go for the S and get the 75 horsepower. Yeah. Why not? Yeah. Why not? You're all you're almost all the way there. Yeah, and then the regular one's gonna come with leather seats. It just won't be it won't be as nice, but it's gonna be pretty great. I would either save myself the 20k and get a nicely specced out Carrera S how I wanted it, or I would shift the 20k over to starting with a Turbo S that had less or, yeah that had yeah. that had less customy stitching and stuff like that because it's nice to be able to make it how you want it and have a little fun with it if you're made of money. But if you're not, not getting this extra stuff, it doesn't make the car feel any cheaper. No, no it doesn't. It's does. just a different color. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's, exactly. You know what I mean? And like, it's cool that you can do this and like, we don't want to crap on the press cars because someone at Porsche made a decision to, to go strawberry shortcake and that costs money. It looks pretty good though. Yeah. It does look cool, it's fun. But like, I wouldn't spend that money. I don't think you would either. No. And I don't recommend others do unless it doesn't matter. Right. But, right. So thank you to Porsche for letting us have a quick go. We only get 24 hours in this one. Um, and thank you to you for watching. Thank you to all of our sponsors. We'll see you later. And remember, always fight your tickets. Use code TST10 on the Off The Record app available in the Android and iOS store or go to offtherecord.com TST.